What's up, everyone? It's nap time. <laughs> it's nap time. We haven't started vlogging yet today. We have been just hanging with the family. One of my coworkers said this. I forget how she said. I said I was worn out from the kids. And what did she say? I forget. Something about being an uncle. I forget. We're tired. We're trying to figure it out. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Actually, we get a question all the time that if we want to have kids. And I feel like we do and we don't. Yeah, I agree. We're like 50-50. We'd be happy to have them, but we're okay if we don't. Mm -hmm. So, that's the answer for that. But we love being an aunt and uncle. Yeah. All right, you guys. I... I ordered these Lululemon kind of dupes on Amazon. I ordered four pairs. Two pairs came in today and they feel like the Lululemon Align leggings. It's crazy. I'm really glad that the back doesn't have like a knockoff logo. I don't know why. I just, I'm kind of, oh, also I got these pajamas from Target and I love them. But I got these. I'll link them down below. I'll let you guys know how I like them. These ones are like a wine color. These are a dark gray. I ordered a beige and a black pair. So I'll let you guys know about these, but I thought, man, if you could save some money on Align leggings, especially if you work out a ton, I feel like it's worth it because, I mean, if they hold up. So I'll keep you updated. But I wanted to share my Spanx with you guys because a lot of you kind of want to know the details. So I pulled out quite a few different Spanx that I wear more often. I am a big Spanx person. These these two right here are my Amazon Spanx. I will link them down below. I will say, these ones are more painful. They're like thicker. They definitely could be a little bit of a better quality. But this portion right here snatches you up. So if you like are going to a dinner or so, oh, and they suck you up so much, like you will be full really quickly at your dinner. So make sure you're not eating heavy. But these are some of my favorites. I wear them all the time. They can be a little painful, but I love these. I wear these under like body suits. I wear these under literally everything, but mostly body suits because they're like obviously tight fitting. You can see this portion right here. It's like a piece of plastic that really like structures the snatch. I love these. These ones I got from Nordstrom. These are called Yummy, I think. Yeah, Yummy. And these ones just kind of smooth you out. These don't really do a ton, but I do like them. They're just kind of like a, I don't know. They just kind of like hold in that like lower belly part, but nothing major. It's just like a thicker underwear basically that goes up to like past your belly button. But I like these ones too, especially if I, you know, just kind of want to be smoothed out. But my favorite, my favorite, 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 all time favorite are these. So these go all the way under, like they can go all the way up under your bra. These ones don't. These ones, well actually, these ones do. They go basically right to my bra. These ones go like just below. But these ones, you tuck under your bra. They don't roll down. I love these because they are smoother. They're not going to snatch you at all. But they just make you feel like you're not seeing, you know, every single divot or any, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just love these. They, it just smooths everything out underneath what I'm wearing. I wear these with bodysuits too. Especially, like, okay, when it's that time of the month, I go with these because they snatch me. But these are like that time where you're feeling like you've been good with your water, you've been feeling good, whatever. I love these, these are my favorite. If I could give you one recommendation, these are these are them. I have these in black. I, have, I actually have a couple pairs of this, the nude. I like the nude because you can wear it under anything. Love these. 
And then these ones are a couple of just kind of ones that are nice to have. I don't wear these ones as often. But this one, it kind of has like a core. It's like a little bit thicker in the core and a little bit thicker on the sides and a little bit thicker right here. I like to wear these under like a dress. These though, the thigh, you have to be careful because it can, like the thigh is kind of a little bit, it is thicker, but it can kind of crease in your thigh and that's not always cute. So actually skims have some that go down past your thigh that I want to try. I am going to get some skims if I can get my hands on them and like review them for you guys. I've had a couple requests doing to do that. So I'm going to do that. These ones I like, I don't think these are like you must have, but they are nice to have when you need them. So if you feel like you already have all those, these are nice to have. This one is same idea as this, same exact same material, quality, everything. But this is for like that low cut shirt where you just like need a bra. It's kind of more specific. This one's cute for like, you know, blazers. If you're only wearing a blazer and you want it kind of low, not like super low, but like, you know what I mean? Like as low as this, but I really like this one. It's a really nice one to have. Again, this is really nice for dresses because it is thong. And if your dress has straps, like you can wear, you know, the straps, but this one's just really, really nice to have. By the way, I'll have all these linked down below for you. And then these ones are just very, very lightweight. I like these. I've worn these a lot for like summer weddings because they're super lightweight, but they like go down the thigh. Like I like these for dresses that I wear like a strapless bra or you know, whatever. These ones, they're just super lightweight. So I'll have those linked down below. I don't wear those very often. And then this bra, this is a Spanx bra. And I really like it. The reason why is because of the seamless sides right here. The seamless sides are make it really, really nice. Really nice. Because it's not like, you, you don't see it. It's not bunching up. The bra that I have right now, it like bunches up and you can totally see it like in my shirts. This one is like completely seam, seamless. My other bra is so old, you guys. Let me see. It's like kind of embarrassing to like pull it out. But like right here, it's just like bunches up and it just, it's just not great. Like, I don't know. I don't love it. This is my favorite bra ever though. This is my Calvin Klein bra. So many of you guys ask me about it. This one I think is a really good option. The cups are really nice, but this part is what sold me. This part is amazing. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> we are heading off to dinner. Where are we going? A food truck. Food truck. What's it called again? I think Randizzle. Randizzle. We'll show you. No, we went there no, once no, for tacos. Yeah. And they were bomb. They were good, but he has burgers today. Yeah. So we're going to check out the burgers. Are you guys excited for dinner? Yeah. What are you going to get? Yeah. I'm going to get a burger. A burger? Are you going to get a burger? You are? What are you going to get? I'm gonna get a burger too. Are you excited? Yeah. We're going to a food truck. We're soaking up our little nieces and nep niece so, and nephews. So they just give them out? No, you gotta pay for them and then they make them in the truck and then you eat them. And then you go, nom, 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 nom. Yeah. Them in the truck? No. no, you don't eat them in the truck, you eat it outside. <laughs> Are you excited to try the burgers? Yeah. This guy, I've he's I wanted like, to try the burgers, but the one time we went, it happened to be a Tuesday and he does tacos on Tuesdays. Only on Tuesdays and he does burgers? I, saw, I think he only does, he primarily does burgers. Like I said, tacos he does on Tuesday. We'll find out. They were good though. Yeah, they were so good. They just were like, they were just really good. He is just in on this side of town, or do you know what he, he does? He goes all over Phoenix area. So if you're in I've Phoenix. I've seen him in North Phoenix, but a lot of times he'll be around here, but Chandler, Gilbert. 
we'll share his Instagram. I'll share it over on my Instagram, but I'll also show you guys his truck when we get there. So if you're ever in the Phoenix area, you can try him out. He's just a guy living his dream, right? Aren't we all? <laughs> it's true. Aren't we all just trying to live our dreams? But we will show you guys when we get there. Say see you later. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. <laughs> okay, we got the bacon burger, and then this is what his truck looks like. It's so worth it, you guys. If you are in Arizona, you gotta chase them down. How is it, you guys? What do you rate it? Um, I, I want some dip. Okay. Give me ketchup because that's really spicy. What? I like an A5. Ooh, okay. Good. It is really good. Where's my burger? Oh, <laughs> What are we doing? Um, we're waiting for Zachy. Zachy! We're waiting for Zachy. He's like, where is he? He's like, has a clown nose. <laughs> <laughs> he has a clown nose? Yeah. He has a clown nose. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? I want nail polish, lipstick, my own. Two up. What do you. San you want two Santas? Yes. What are you going to do with two Santas? Get in, let them climb up. You like those, huh? No, I'll put one in my room. You do you oh. want your own Christmas tree in your room? Oh, dude, yeah. You no. do. I want a Santa in my room. You like one the silly Santa. one, Santa? Yeah. I want and that. what else? Do you like Paw Patrol? I love and Paw Patrol in my room. I love Paw Patrol in your room I and. Love what do you like choo choo trains? Me? Yes. And choo choo trains in my backpack. In your backpack? Yeah. Cute. I have a backpack. You do? Yes. Oh my gosh, you do? Yes. What color is it? It it blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow? Yes. And what do you what do you put in I'll there? I'll show you in it when it when I get home. Okay. What do you put in your backpack? Um toys. You do, and what else? He puts like. No, I'm talking whatever you want. What else do you put in your backpack? Um. What? What's your favorite show? Um, My favorite show. Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol? Yeah. What about Masha and the Bear? Paw Patrol and Masha and the Bear. Masha and the Bear. Masha and the Bear. You guys love Masha and the Bear, huh? I love it. You do? I love the other one. You do? Yeah. What other one? Um, uh, Paw Patrol. You love Paw Patrol? What What was the one that you watched today, Micah? Oh, the other one. Yeah, what's it called? Oh, it's... No, I'm not. It's the big Boss Baby Bear. The Bus Baby Bear? Yeah, Bus Baby Bear. Oh, Boss Baby Bear? Is that yeah. what you Oh. Okay. Oh, here comes and Zachy. Oh, hold on. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. There's Zachy. Got my mask on. Mask off now. We're oh, making a cocktail. Them. Yeah, that's okay. Got vodka. We, we used to buy vodka not all the time, but quite often. Yeah. But and we just been a flashlight. And a flashlight. But we've been doing margaritas and we've tequila been, yeah. with everything that I don't think we bought have bought that vodka in a over time. a year. I know. So it's like I don't even know what one to get. So <laughs> I, I got the absolute one. Hopefully Is that a good one? They say it is. Like it's one of the more more like popular and well known ones. Okay. It was on sale. Hopefully and this is deal. a big one. I know. Well, that was, it was on sale for, it's a 1.75 liter. It was on sale for 26 bucks. I think at Target it was like 41 or 
39 or something. We don't know a good vodka. Leave us a comment down yeah. below and let us know like what vodkas we should try. And like we we've like tried, spending, oh. yeah, we like, okay, we like a good. Have, sorry. Most of the time we mix it anyway. Yeah. So we don't want like a $60 bottle that we're gonna be mixing. Yeah. We do take a shots occasionally or sip on occasionally, but most of it's just mixed. Not vodka like, though. No, we have taken shots of vodka. But yeah, but we don't sip on vodka. No, it's usually mixing or... Right yeah. But, like $60 is a lot for us. Yeah, for something we... something mixed, but I would spend, you know, 40 bucks, 30 we, bucks. Yeah. Like the Altos, our tequila that we love, is 17, 18 mm -hmm. bucks, 15 on sale. Yeah, that is perfect. And even taking shots is perfect and it's cheap. I don't want to go spend, you know, $50 on a bottle of tequila. And the other thing is like, same thing with like, when we go out to dinner, like, we don't mind spending a little bit of money on dinner. Like, we just don't want to go out to dinner and like, pay $50 per. We're, we're, we're weird. We're both very value people. Yeah, we are. We will spend a lot of money on something, but we want a value for yeah. it. Like the Vitamix, mm -hmm. it's like, that's a lot of money. But it's like, there's a value to it. Like, it's so much better than anything I've used. Yeah, yeah, like we don't mind spending the money if we're getting something we're of so, good value. We're so weird. <laughs> it's the same thing, it's like, I don't, $15 for a drink out is expensive. But if it's like one of the best cocktails I've had, it's well worth it. Yeah. But I don't want to spend seven dollars on a mediocre cocktail, you know. Yeah, we don't like, like to like, waste money. Yeah. I like, don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, but we've also gone through a lot of times where we've just wasted money. Does, hey, no, I'll I don't drink, think I'll it's go over a freaking. I like. I honestly think it's like as you get older, you just get like done. Like I don't like, want to just, waste my time yeah. with something that's not enjoyable. I'd rather yeah. spend a little bit more. And it's not always spending more. Sometimes the cheaper option is actually better. Or, and sometimes the cheaper option ends up being more expensive. It does. So it's more just like... I really do think it's an age thing. Like, I think yeah. as you get older, you just kind of get over, like... I don't want my stuff breaking all the time. Or I don't want to, like... I just don't want to go out and, like, wait. Like, I would rather go out less often and it be better. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like instead of going out, you know, three days a week, I'd rather go out one day a week and it be good. An experience. An experience. <laughs> what do you guys think? <laughs> All right, the family just left and we are going to make a reel. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of show you guys a little bit of a behind the scenes. We actually have a lot of fun making the reels because then we get to like drink the drink and try new drinks out all the time. I think I said this before, but what we'll do is try a couple different things. Zach is like really, you're pretty like good with like knowing what drinks are what. what do you or mean? like you know what drinks go into things and I like to like try different ways to make it like our own and like make it more fresh and things like that. This one, I'm actually sharing my neighbor. My neighbor made me this drink the other day, and it's basically just like a healthy, like holiday drink. So, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So, what I like to do is make one first and then go back and do the reel, because I feel like it kind of helps and makes the process go a little bit faster instead of like, I've already made one so I kind of know how it's gonna go type of thing. I'm gonna explain to you guys on that practice one and then I'll let you guys see like a little behind the scenes. To TikTok on how to open a pomegranate. So hopefully, hopefully this goes good. Is that how you cut a pomegranate? I don't know. Will you look it up on TikTok real quick? Why would you put it in water like that? I've never seen I that. think it helps so it doesn't get the juice everywhere. And I think... Why not TikTok? I don't know, TikTok has all the answers. My friend just like cut her straight open, but she said there was pomegranate juice everywhere and I'm not trying to make I've it. never thought about putting it in water. Maybe you're... It's... Yeah, I've heard about it going in water. I'm just saying, I've never heard of that. I 
could totally be wrong. I, you know? Oh, I think it's because the rind floats in the water and you can get it all out. But the seeds sink. And you're not gonna get pomegranate juice all over you. So basically what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this real, make Zach a cocktail, and then I'm gonna probably put mine in the fridge. Oh, wait. What? I think you did it right. I did? You did it wrong, but right. Oh, how'd I do it wrong? Cause then see, the rind floats. They say, So it's like cut it like this. Yeah. Around in a circle. Peel that part off. And then there'll be little white things that go like that. You cut down like that on each one. Okay. And then you peel it into that. And like you said, you're kind of right. But I think you just, the only thing is you wanted to cut it first. Oh. And then you're right. The seeds will uh, sink. sink and everything will float. And then you could just strain it out. Yeah. Well, it worked. I did, you know, didn't cut these correctly so you can kind of tell like some of them are cut in half but at least it's not getting all over oh i do have a couple of spots on my shirt anyway i think what i'm gonna do is go work out because it is 7 37 tonight and it's one of those things where i'm like oh it's fine like it's already late i'll just do it tomorrow but i feel like it's just always tomorrow so i think what i'm gonna do even if it's something small i'm gonna force myself to go to the gym tonight and get a workout in because I really want to just kind of hold myself accountable and start working out more consistently again. And I do love working out, I do. And I'm gonna come home, I have to mop. Our floor is very, very much needs to be mopped. Um, but, our house really is like, this is just like not normal for us. So I am so sad for the family to leave. They're visiting from out of town. They're visiting from Oregon. Um, but at the same time, I'm getting ready to get like our routine going again and stuff just because it's like the end of their trip. So I'm like, you know, like we're soaking them up. They actually slept over last night. Um, we're soaking them up, but at the same time, you know, on that trip, you know, when you're on like a vacation and like by the end of the trip, don't you feel like you're kind of ready to go? Babe? Yeah. Like, especially the last day, you're like, all right, I think I'm ready. Oops. I, um, how I feel like I am so sad. Like, I'm going to be so sad when my little nieces, my niece and my little nephews leave. But at the same time, like, we are so out of our routine that I'm like, kind of ready to kind of get back to our routine, get back to my videos, get back to being more consistent on Instagram. Like I haven't, it's been really hard to like be consistent, even, even vlog this, I was like, what am I doing? And I did miss a day because we just soaked up the family and you know, it happened, but you know. So vlogmas is gonna get a lot more fun here soon. Not that it's not fun with them, but I'll be able to like go out and get some cool content. I like more fun, like home decor. There's like some new places I've learned about that I want to go check out. So I'll be able to do that. So I got my seeds separated. I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom of this little cocktail mixer. Can I try one of those seeds? Yeah, they're good. Did you try it? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to kind of keep my hand covering over the top of it, but you're going to smush this just to get the pomegranate juice. Oh man. No, good, huh? Those are good. Pomegranates are dangerous though. They're messy. They are. Oh, they're good, huh? Sour? No. Like, you're gonna go, like, start here and kind of show all the ingredients and then at the end you're gonna come to me smashing. 
like maybe closer and then kind of go scroll down. Like that? Yeah, and then kind of do like one of like up and over and go like. Could you clip these? Yeah. Can you see what I'm doing? Is that good? Okay. So then what we're going to do is add in two ounces, no, three ounces of so a sh vodka. So a shot per each? Yeah. So then you're gonna come just do like, do you remember how to do these? It's been a minute since you've done them. Well, do I just keep it on record? Yeah, but like act like you're doing the real. I know, but keep it on record. Yeah. Okay. I have to go fast, you gotta go fast. Well, I don't know if you're going. Here, I go like this. Right. Just do like fast, just small clips. I'll put them together. Is that a small clip? Now do this one, go up and over so you can see me okay. pouring. Okay. And then we are going to do a whole little can of this. So I'll go like this. I should probably make sure I like how I look. You look good. <laughs> yeah, but I might not like it. You get so stressed, sorry. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, we're gonna go fast, so you're gonna just follow me to dump it in. Ready? Okay. Go. <laughs> you're like talking the whole time. I was telling you how to do it. I know how to do it, Bran. <sighs> you guys, stressful. Behind the scenes of Marriage. social media creating. Okay. We're gonna need like an Maybe actual ice like, maker in my our house. I know. We really will because we do cocktails all the time. Do like a little bit of maybe like pouring ice into this. Oops. What's that? What's that? You want it going into there? Yeah. to add a couple spoonfuls into these because you get to chew them. They're good. Like so. It's like the easiest cocktail ever. And it's yummy. Super good. And then we're gonna pour them. It's good, huh? Mm -hmm. It's good. It's one of those drinks, it's like, there's no, sh well, obviously other than the fruit, there's no sugar, it's low calorie. Mm -hmm. This is like a light refreshing. It's very good for you. good to you. Pomegranate. Or not, yeah, pomegranate. Okay, now we just need a picture. That's good. I know, isn't it, it good? It's nothing crazy or yeah, gonna not, blow you away. No. But it's just a solid like Yeah. Winter little cocktail. Yep. Okay, ready? Just a picture? Yeah. Oh. I think we need that light closer. Actually that's fine. You never even see the, when you click on the reel, yeah. you barely even see the picture. It's true. 
And that's it guys, that is the behind the scenes of making a reel. We get like super irritated with each other. Whoa! <laughs> Kinda. It's just hard because you like, you have a vision in your head. Yeah. You're, it's hard to express it. It's true, and sometimes I can be a little bossy. That's true. Man, that is so yummy. Love it. And then what I do from here is I just go and edit my photo, piece it together. I use the app called in shot and you can basically just like speed it up together but you can do different clips so say you want to take a photo of everything first you can do that so that's what i'm gonna do all right you guys i just got home from the gym and i'm really freaking proud of myself because i wasn't gonna go and then i ended up going and doing an hour on the elliptical at the toughest level which was amazing I think I'm gonna pop on either the Bachelorette or the Kardashians and catch up while I tidy up the house. So if you've been following Vlogmas, our family is, they sold their house, they bought an RV and they're traveling in the country, but they've been here for almost a month now. So we have been with them every single day and you, you never really like when you don't have kids you don't really realize that you know you gotta clean more often so um i'm gonna i'm gonna mop i'm gonna vacuum i'm gonna clean and tidy up the apartment so that it's fresh when they get here tomorrow it's funny because i was like oh i'll just wait until they leave but you can't <laughs> you have to like keep up with it or it gets really bad um so, but I was telling Zach, I was like, I don't, I just like don't want to like be too worried about like cleaning while they're here. And I just don't want to like, they're, this is like such a special time. We're not going to get this time back with them. So I've been trying to just keep my cool back. Like when we lived in Oregon and we had family over, I was like cleaning while they were there visiting, like cleaning now I just like wait for them to leave and clean and you know do it that way because it's just so special like last night they all slept over and um this morning my my niece and my nephew one of them there's four of them but or two of them excuse me like crawled in bed with me and just like hung out with me in bed and it was just like this the most special thing like we're never gonna have that again you know and it's just it's so special and they're just so sweet i love them so much they are just they're just so fun but anyway have a re like a fresh start for tomorrow the second they get into the house they dive on the couch and the pillows go everywhere and it is what it is but i wouldn't have it any other way i am like i am so sad for them to leave but it's been it's just so special and so much fun like even just being with my sister-in-law and like making food together and like doing all of it it's just been so fun so so that's kind of what we got going on I'm gonna clean I think I'm gonna maybe edit this video I'm not sure because it's already 10 30 I'm gonna turn on a show try to catch up and get ready for tomorrow so thank you guys again so much for being here enjoying our vlogs just we are so thankful for you guys and supporting them leaving us messages and you know liking the videos it truly is so fulfilling and really it really motivates us to keep going and just to see that you guys are liking the vlogs and you know like getting into them it's just like so freaking cool we love you guys so much zach is sleeping or he'd be out here closing out the video with me but he'll be in tomorrow's vlog so yeah we will see you guys tomorrow good night